it just feels like you're kind of a meat soup going through the day on autopilot and your mind is completely somewhere else and you're disconnected. Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Robert Duff, AKA Duff the Psych. I am a clinical psychologist from Southern California and also a self-help author. And today I have a question um, that was written in one of my uh, recent comments. Questions from Sarah, who appears to be a CNA. And they just wrote, hey Duff, I was wondering what you call when someone tends to zone out throughout the day. Um, so good question, a lot of possible answers here. Um, so there's a lot of things that can cause you to zone out. I think the most you know, obvious culprit would be like an attention problem. So if you have something like a attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, so ADHD, and we call it ADHD now, it's not like ADD and ADHD, it's basically just ADHD and you can fall either in the inattentive type the hyperactive type or both. So inattentive would be kind of what you're talking about here. Having your head in the clouds, um, having trouble focusing on things, not paying attention to what you're supposed to pay attention to. Um, and with ADHD, a lot of people kind of get it wrong that you have no attention span. That's not the case. It's more like your attention is sort of a flashlight and um, you're not very good at pointing that flashlight where it's supposed to go. The beam of that flashlight might still be quite strong, but your ability to find the thing that you're supposed to be illuminating in the dark may not be very strong. So instead of focusing on what you know a teacher or a boss in a meeting is saying, you're thinking about something else and focusing very intensely on that, but it's something else like um, having to do with the book you're reading or something at home or whatever. You can't focus on exactly what you need to focus on at all times. Um, so, you know, attentional problems are one potential. Um, when you have something like depression or anxiety, that can also affect your ability to pay attention and zoning out. With anxiety, typically um, you'll find yourself imagining uh, potential scenarios, you know, or running through things that have happened already. So maybe you had an interaction with somebody that you were embarrassed by. Maybe you replay that in your head a lot. And so you'll be focusing on that instead of what's in front of you. Um, maybe you're dreading something coming up. So you're kind of going through potential scenarios like, well, what if this happened? What if that happened? That's very common in anxiety. Um, when it comes to depression, definitely can affect your concentration and you can actually get to the point where you get what's called pseudo dementia. So if you have really, really significant depression, and this is more common in older folk, but it can happen with younger as well. Um, it can affect your, your memory and your concentration to the point that it looks like you might even have a dementia condition. The good news with that is that it doesn't permanently change your brain. It's not making you have some sort of memory issue or dementia condition. Um, when you treat the depression, the you know, concentration and other issues tend to go away. So it's just tied to the emotional symptom. Um, and then the last one that I would throw out there is sometimes people have what's called a depersonalization or derealization. These are forms of dissociation where you feel like you're detached from your body. Happens very often with people who have suffered trauma. So people who have been through traumatic things often, you know, kind of dissociate and they can feel like they're going through their life on autopilot. Like they're not really controlling their body. It just feels like you're kind of a meat soup going through the day on autopilot and your mind is completely somewhere else and you're disconnected. Um, it's a type of coping mechanism a defense mechanism. Um, and it's something that definitely serves a purpose for people when they're enduring a traumatic event to try to separate from that. But when it pops up in the middle of the day, it can be very disconcerting, very uncomfortable, and it doesn't help you when you're actually trying to focus on stuff. So that's another possibility. Basically what I'm trying to say here is that there are a lot of different things that can cause you to zone out throughout the day. Um, if any of these things that I described sound like you, the next step would be to talk to your doctor about it, maybe get a referral to a psychiatrist or a psychologist to evaluate a little bit more closely. Um, and then of course, rule out medical things, you know, um, hormonal issues, vitamin deficiencies, all sorts of stuff like that can also screw with your concentration, your ability to focus, as can medications that you might be on. So there's a lot of areas that you can kind of dig into to see what the root of the problem is. Um, so that's where you would want to start. Make sure you talk to your doctor about it if it is a problem for you and see, you know, where you can start pulling on those threads to figure out where the issue is. And then, of course, you can act on that in a variety of ways. So great question. Thank you for that. If you guys have questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll get to some of those. And uh, if you liked this, please consider subscribing and like or dislike the video as it applies to you. All right. Take care.